Memories of an independence war fought 42 years ago still haunts Ferdusi Priyobashini. She was 23 years old when she was abducted by Pakistani forces. And then she says, gang raped over the course of nine months. She accuses Bangladeshi collaborators along with Pakistani soldiers for the attack. Ferdusi is one of the few women who 42 years later is willing to speak up about the crimes that were committed during the war. They went from village to village burning homes and raping women. Why shouldn't they pay for the crimes committed? Now, a war crimes tribunal set up two years ago has arrested 11 people. It says are responsible for some of those crimes. Prosecutors accuse them of crimes against humanity. Most are prominent members of the opposition party Jamaat Islami. But during the war, they publicly admitted to supporting Pakistan. I am personally not against the trial. We can close one chapter in our history. But the development of the last past few months has shown clearly that the entire process is flawed. It's a politically motivated process. And those developments include the resignation of the tribunal's chief judge. On Wednesday, he gave up his post after his recorded discussions were leaked to the media and posted online. He was talking to a lawyer in Brussels about one of the defendants during the trial. We can't show you evidence of those conversations because of a court order. But in the recordings, the judge admits he was under pressure from the Bangladeshi government to reach a quick verdict. The government denies any interference. The trial is absolutely fair, transparent, acceptable. Credibility of the trial cannot be questioned from any standard, any angle. But for months now, defense lawyers have been saying they're not getting a fair trial. It's outside the Bangladesh War Crimes Tribunal that defense lawyers say one of their witness was abducted by who they describe as plainclothes policemen. Now, this witness has since never been seen. Bangladeshi security forces deny any wrongdoing in the abduction of the witness. Human Rights Watch has called for a retrial of those charged by the tribunal saying, under these circumstances, there can be no fair hearing. But for people like Ferdusi Priyobashini, further delays will only prolong the healing process. She says she wants politics out of the trial and hopes her search for justice will unite all and can no longer drag on. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dhaka.